Hey and welcome to Neverwinter the Aragon. So Battle Pass Part 2 of Roth Valley is now live. Which unfortunately also means those of you who don't have the Premium Pass can no longer make any progress on the first part, Take Stock of Life. So unfortunately, if you haven't got these rewards, all of them, by now, well, you're missing out unless you buy the premium task. However, keep in mind, if we go press L, we go to claims valuables, we will be able to obtain a pack which will give us 850 progress for this first part. So if you're on 3,150, you'll be good to get your free astral lockbox. So what does the second part entail? Well, it's simply the same as before. You'll be progressing with these three different requirements to get your experience all the way to 4,000 to get all of the rewards. And they aren't too bad in terms of the free ones, bunch of scrolls, a greater stone of health that's mythic, another astral lockbox, and two more enchanted keys. If you don't like the look of the rewards within the Astro Lockbox right now, you can always just hold on to it until they update the rewards and change them. But I can't promise you they won't end up worse than they are now, right now. If you have the Premium Pass, you can go and get all of these following rewards. And most importantly, what should you choose from the Artifact Set Choice Pack? As that has four different rewards there. Well, technically five if you have all of them and just want the trade bars instead. So let's go over that in a little bit. But first, you shall also be able to obtain this exclusive panda. Personally, it's nothing special. It is a decent augment with crit strike accuracy and forte. Not as good as like the Owlbear or the Icosahedron Ion Stone, but somewhat in line of like the Festive Tiger. It is account wide, but unfortunately only on Epic get a bunch of companion tokens to go with it and some mass scrolls so again you progress with these three different things doing your random dungeons your random trials random skirmishes and you can simply just do your random dungeon and random skirmish and you'll be fine you can see those little pips will be used you just have one per day we just completed a skirmish castles retreat and you can see once we finally finish off the boss we get our 115 battle pass xp however again you will only be able to now obtain xp for the second part if you don't have the premium pass if you have the premium pass you will see that you will obtain progress for the previous parts you haven't completed as well you can of course go to your zen market and you can buy out all the xp you need for the upper crust if you so want it and the price will reduce depending on how much progress you have made so you can always come back and buy it out you could see this 32 percent off because i already have a bit of progress on that previous part personally no point in buying them out there's plenty of time to get it all completed if you really want to complete the previous parts you may as well just go and buy the premium pass and then you can complete them at your leisure how long does it take you to complete well just looking here you can see that the random skirmish and trial gives you 115 the random dungeon 135 and the heroic encounter 75 in total you get 325 per day if you do all of those three tasks and you need a maximum progress of 4000 so you divide that and you get just over 12 days required of participation with this battle pass to complete it which is well under the time frame at which these go on for they go on for five weeks you can quickly again see this start and end days for each of those three parts don't get caught out the second part will end on october the 18th when deeper wounds then starts to complete that heroic encounter, you will have to go to the adventure, Roth Valley. You will unlock it just here. But first, you might have to speak to Sergeant Knox in Protector's Enclave. And you can also do so by going to the adventure just here and clicking begin adventure or continue story wherever you're at. You don't have to have that adventure completed, just like entered and unlocked the zone and the heroic encounters you will see on your map just here they will come up as large kind of areas i'll show you in a little bit when one triggers here but sometimes you might have to wait there we go shroud of night you can make your way there you can like double click to make a waypoint and your sparkly line will make you travel there 
So again, just over 12 days of participation required to complete the entire battle pass. So there's not much of an excuse to not have that completed unless you're just not playing the game like uh, <clears throat> me. All right, so in this artifact set choice pack, you can obtain the four following rewards. The Neverwinter Standard Artifact Pack, Jewel of the North, Purpose for Lactory, and the Dragonbone Wand set. Now, which one should you choose from there? Well, it would depend which ones you already have, and ultimately, which one would I choose from there? If I was, let's say, a damage dealer, a healer, or a tank. Well, let's have a look at what those sets give us. We have obtained those sets in the past, and we can see here's the standard artifact pack. Here's the Jewel of the North artifact pack. And we also have the Dragonbone Wand artifact pack. And I do have on this character the Phylactery set, the artifact which you will get from that pack then there as well now we can see that the jewel of the north set will give you as you can see here when we look at the tooltip the ability to gain teamwork tactics basically if you're a tank you'll generate 15 percent more threat and if you're not you will reduce your threat by 15 percent it's not a set i read recommend a damage dealer or a healer use mainly because they just want to increase their own effectiveness rather than taking this more of a utility buff when the tank Tank could take this and then just generate 15% more and then there's no problem. The artifact itself is pretty good but I haven't found it too useful within endgame content because it moves your character and thus you can't reliably have it on an arena where you might fall off and die. So it is a good debuff artifact but it's only situationally good. Then you have the Neverwinter Standard Artifact Pack, which you can see will give you this set, which simply gives you Neverwintian Advantage, which is 3% combat advantage, which, yes, it's good for a damage dealer if you literally have nothing else. And the artifact is also good for buffing up your allies, but not as good as like a debuff. And you can buy these artifacts as well from the auction house we can't sell these because they are bound you can see there's the neverwinter standard and here's the jewel of the north so if you really wanted to get them you could get them there for not too much amount of astral diamonds then you have the dragon bone wand artifact pack which is exclusive to the zen market which we have on my rogue just here you can see that dragon bone symbol and the waste piece there the fouls and then also the artifact and the set itself is pretty underwhelming of just giving 1.5 percent defense and crit strike not too useful in my opinion for either or you'd be better off with again the set that just gives you the combat advantage the neverwinter standard set just here and then there is the artifact from the dragonbone wand the dragonbone wand artifact and it has been already tested that it's broken have they fixed it well let's have a look so we attack our dummy you can see we get 29,000 29,000 on a crit without a dodge so we'll use the artifact then if we're assuming this is going to be our average hit 29,000 use the artifact it should be much higher than 29,000 we get 30,000 30,000 that is very small difference from 29,000 to that 30,000 so it's definitely not giving a 20% increase and we can test that more in depth and and if it was actually giving 20% extra damage then we should be seeing about 34,000 on our damage hits where this test data is then still relevant at it only giving a 2.5% increase to our damage so it's still broken I can't believe that they just don't give a damn i guess even though these items are like zen market exclusive that really shows how much they don't really care so it was broken and it seems it still is and lastly you have the choice of the phylactery artifact pack and this set simply gives you three percent power with beyond death and then it also has the artifact which gives you a heal and it's actually one of the best healing artifacts there is in the game so if you're a tank and you really struggle with survivability and you're never really getting great healers this artifact could help you out but in reality you are better off with an artifact that helps your team deal more damage as that will be most valued in end game so not too much point in my opinion upgrading an artifact that you're not going to use once you hit end game because they're pretty costly to upgrade. So ultimately, what would I choose from the pack if 
anything. Well, I personally would just take the 200 trade bars and using those trade bars, I would get my mount and companion upgrade tokens. That would be it. Wait for a discount on the trade bars so that these cost two trade bars per token and you're basically getting 100 upgrade tokens for this pack. Any of those sets in there for damage dealer and even a tank for gaining threat, you are better off going to your campaign, Dragon Bow and Veil, completing this and getting the Mithalar set. If you're a healer, yes, you could choose to take the Phylactery set from within there. That would be my recommendation if you have nothing, but otherwise just getting Tiamat set is definitely better when you're in scaled content, which is the majority of content. And even in end game, I still use this set as a Phylactery set is a minute bonus up from that just because of it item level. But yes, again, definitely a set you could take as a healer if you didn't want to shell out or grind the trial Tiamat to get your Tiamat set as it's probably not exactly cheap. You can get the green parts in it, but I would recommend getting the legendary. Oh, wow. It is actually not that expensive at all. I'm guessing people are dropping this and then you have the Tiamat sash, which it's a little bit more on the expensive side, but like 59,000. Uh, however, the artifact, that is very problematic. And that is the reason why you might want to take the phylactery set as a healer instead. And that's about it for the second part of the battle pass. Nothing else there you can really make a decision on. I would recommend just getting your free rewards if you're not too fussed about getting the premium pass. Premium pass is pretty underwhelming. Will I get it? I probably will just to test out this gadget here. That's about it to compare the damage that it deals versus, let's say, the doohickey, especially since next module, we may very well be getting a dungeon as the usual trend goes. It's generally like a trial, then a dungeon, then a trial, then a dungeon. Okay, that's what this, the pattern has been. So having good AOE damage might be useful within that next dungeon. We shall see. I'm not in any testing phases of it. But with that, I'd like to give a special thank you to all these channel members for helping me keep my channel going. And if I present this well, consider leaving the video a like. And if you're new around here, consider subscribing. We'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.